Welcome to the first episode of One Burning Question, where we look at one issue impacting the metropolitan investments sector. My name is Mark Lafferty. I'm the Managing Director of CBRE's Metropolitan Investments Team. And today I have with me Chief Economist from the REA Group, Anne Flaherty. Anne, welcome. Thank you. Everyone's talking about it. Obviously, we've had a lot of changes and a lot of things happening in the property sector. What is your outlook for the commercial property market? And probably more specifically, what are those sectors we're expecting to outperform? Well, it's been a very dramatic few years for the commercial property market. We saw during 2020, 2021, that increased demand for pandemic-proof assets. We're now really starting to see an increase in demand for recession-proof assets. So these are things like essential services, childcare, healthcare, service stations, grocery stores. What we're seeing is that investors are increasingly targeting these kinds of assets to have more confidence in the future performance of them. Now, when we talk of investors, are we seeing the offshore investors come back? Well, we actually saw offshore investors pretty much disappear during the pandemic, but they are now certainly back. We're seeing a lot more activity in terms of searching and inquiring from overseas for Australia. I think one of the factors here is that our economy is really very resilient, particularly in comparison to overseas markets such as the US and parts of Europe, where economic growth is slowing quite substantially. So from an investor's perspective, Australia has very strong population growth. Our economic outlook, while it's slower than it was, is still pretty resilient, and that's gonna draw more buyers here. And do they have that attraction? Are there specific markets that they're looking at? Yeah, well, we're seeing offshore investors primarily targeting your greater capital city areas, whereas we see that domestic buyers in Australia are more likely to have a wider range of areas that they're looking in. And then obviously for the developers, there's been headwinds there. They've had to deal with a lot of issues throughout the pandemic and then construction costs increasing. What's the outlook for that sector? Well, it has been a really tough few years for developers. What we saw was that building costs actually increased at the fastest rate in over 40 years. Now it's still very expensive to develop. From a commercial real estate perspective though, what that means is that the supply of new properties is likely to slow. We're seeing this in residential as well, but our population's growing. So the demand for commercial real estate is going to continue to rise. And if we do see that supply of pipeline slow, that's going to actually help the performance of existing assets. Thanks, Anne. Really appreciate your time today. And thanks for watching. Look forward to catching up on our next episode.